Hello fellow Daz Studio enthusiasts, this is Not From This World and I want to welcome you to my tutorial. Now tonight I want to talk a little bit about render settings. I get a lot of questions about what the best technique is for setting up your render so that you get a nice quick render or one that's as fast as it can go, but with good quality. And so I thought today I would talk a little bit about render quality here in your render settings. You have a bar for render quality. And then we'll talk a little bit about this other bar right below it called rendering converged ratio. And these two items I have played around with. And so we're gonna test them. So to begin with, Render quality defaults at one, and this number can be changed up to whatever you want. We're gonna experiment with that. And then we're also going to look at this rendering converged ratio, which defaults to 95%. And we'll talk about what that does. So what I have is just a general setup with Milica. She's at the beach. And we're going to run a couple renders at a render quality of one, three, and five. Then we're going to um, compare them to see if there's, number one, a difference in quality. Is the render better with a higher render quality number? And then number two, we're going to look at how long it takes to actually render. So let's get the first one set up and we're gonna render with quality one first. Okay, so the first render is finished at render quality one. Now let's change this up to three, and I'm gonna just render the exact same picture. So let's get this started. All right, so the second render is done at quality three. Let's boost this up to quality five, and we're gonna render the same picture at quality five. Okay, so we've got our three renders. Let's look at them. Okay, so on the left here, I have my image rendered at quality one. That took about four minutes and 20 seconds. My second render was at quality three. That bumped up to 11 minutes and 48 seconds. And then the third render here was at quality five, and it took 17 minutes and 51 seconds. Now, if I am looking at these, do you see a difference? Because I don't. I mean, I don't see any difference between these three renders except for time. This quality three render took 172% longer to render than my quality one right here. And at quality five, it took 313% more time rendering at 17 minutes and 51 seconds than our original quality one render here 
at four minutes and 20 seconds. So I don't see any difference. I don't think you need to do any changing of this render quality. Now we can zoom in. Um, let's take our, our image here. Let's zoom in to Milica's face and see if we can see any difference. And we're gonna do that to all three. So I'm just gonna zoom in to about 177% for each of my pictures. And let's just do an honest comparison to see if we can see any benefit from rendering at a higher quality. So again, this is render quality one, this is render quality three, and this is render quality five. I don't see any difference. There might be a little bit of difference in the hair from render to render, but I really don't see much of a difference. So I'd like to hear your opinion on this and see what you have to think. Now, let's go back to Daz because I wanna talk a little bit about the rendering converged ratio. So when you are rendering, you'll notice that you have iterations that are going on and the computer is processing at what percent it thinks the picture's finished. So this rendering converged ratio is default at 95%. So if you pay attention to your render, you'll notice that it always ends with iterations at 95%. So we can bump this up to 100% so that the computer will compute the iterations all the way up to 100%. So let's run a render at one quality one with a rendering converged ratio of 100%. So let's run that and see if we get any difference. Okay, so we have that one done. Let's look at it and compare it with our others. Okay, so here is our original render at quality one with 95% uh, percent converged ratio. And here is our 100% converged ratio. Again, I am really not seeing much of a difference. If we zoom into the two, uh, I'm really just not seeing much of a difference. Like I said, um, you know, maybe a little bit of difference with the shine on her body or something, but I really don't see the point of changing the render quality versus the rendering converged ratio. I, uh, you know, just leave your render quality at one and leave your rendering converged ratio at the default of 95, it just doesn't make much of a difference. Now, a lot of um, tutorials will claim that you can speed up your renders by uh, messing with your max samples and max time. Well, yeah, that's true. I have mine set a little high because I was re uh, rendering these. The max samples is how many iterations will occur. So if you set it to something low, like 2,500, when your render reaches 2,500 iterations, it just shuts itself off. Same with the max time. Um, often I'll leave the max time at about 7,200, which is two hours. So it, it does it in seconds. So 7,200 seconds is two hours. Um, and that's usually plenty of time. I do have some scenes that just render and render and render, and they actually will just shut off at the max time. But you know, if you change these to a low number, you're gonna have a quick render, but you're gonna be sacrificing quality. So you want your max samples and max time to both be a pretty high number. 
you know, hopefully your scene will render up in a timely manner, but this just gives that render time to get as many iterations as possible to get your quality up. But you know what? In conclusion, you know, I ran this little experiment. I'm a scientist. I like experiments. So I just don't see any difference in render quality. So I'm going to stick with my girl that has render quality one and the default iteration. And, you know, Milika's looking pretty darn good with quality one compared to the others. All you're getting is a lot more render time. So I hope this helps you a little bit. Kind of a simple little tutorial, but I like showing you stuff that maybe other people don't. And uh, I'd like to hear what you have to say. So do you think render quality matters? I don't see it, but maybe you have a setup where the render quality really does matter. I haven't played with it with dark scenes, but from what I can see, there's just not much of a difference. So, hey, that's going to do it for this week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and give me some comments. Let me know what you think about render quality and that converged ratio. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, have a wonderful day.